Hey guys, this is Peter, and today I want to talk to you about a program that is one of my favorites of all time. Now, this is a new version for 2025, and I guess what you'd say that, about this program is it's a screen recorder, or a streaming recorder, if you will. That's right, it will allow you to record all sorts of streams from a different variety of sources. Not just video that we're looking at here, but audio as well. And you can record, well here, I'm going to go back here. Audio's one is because it's one program that has many different programs in it. Audio's Music, Audio's Movies, Audio's Radio, and Audio's does so many different things. There's even a new version called Ultra that uh, has a different price point. So just to get you past all the little stalled sales pieces, this is what you can do. You can record music and video with it. You can make a library of your own. This is my Plex server, and this really helps accelerate that. And this is what it looks like when you go to buy it. There's two pieces of software here. There's Audels One with the same features it's had for years. Uh, well, there's some new features actually, but uh, the same basic functionality. And the new Ultra version has a, a new button on it. I'll show you that. That allows you to improve the media. So whether it's a video and you want to upscale it or change the file format, you can also do that with audio as well. You can go from an MP3 to a FLAC and fill out all the different densities. It will make your songs better. It'll make your videos better. But I actually just like the basic functionality. Here, this is the video recording, and this is what you're gonna start out with. You wanna record from all sorts of different formats. These are suggestions. Yeah, it'll set it up so it's quite easy. Here, there's even some new features. From some of these services, you can even set up a batch recording. Let me show you what that's like, here. We'll jump to Netflix. I've already logged in. I do have an account. You need an account in order to record things. But here, Stranger Things. Everyone loves Stranger Things. Here, it's playing. I'm gonna hit this Q button. I'm gonna select everything from this. This, this is uh, season one. And now it's added them all to the queue. And if I go to show queue, look, it just put those in a row. Now. I need to be able to record. So we, I need a reasonable PC. This one works great. This is this was a great PC five years ago or six years ago. This is an i7 7700, and it does work beautifully on that. You can record here. I'm going to show you all these different things you can do. If I wanted to record from Netflix, I can record up to 1080p. It's like 1920 by 1080. It's a really good picture. I can choose if I want to record in Dolby surround sound. I can download the subtitles. I can even render them to the video. One powerful piece of software here. Once you download things, it'll record it with the metadata. Oh, and I'm looking over here. I recorded one of my favorite programs of all time. It's a history program, and it was called Big History. And it was uh, narrated by Brian Cranston. That's the guy that, uh, oh, Breaking Bad, that guy. So great series, absolutely loved it. I looked for it for years and couldn't find it. Prime Video had it last month for free and I downloaded them all and it turned out great. But guess what? They're not free anymore. It's like, that's the reason you need a recorder is so that you can watch things your way on your time because you paid for it. So let's get to the last piece. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna jump straight to the legality portion, because people go, is this even legal? Well, I do want to mention two things. A, you have money back guarantee. Try it out. Make sure it works on your PC. It is a PC program. It does not work on Macs. I'm sorry. <laughs> but guess what? PC programs are awesome, too. So this is, oh, legality right here. Does not circumvent copy protection, which means it doesn't try to block anything. However, it is coming to your PC and you're able to view it, so so are we. Just like when you were a kid and you record Billy Joel songs on your tape recorder, or later on you record Saturday Night Live onto your VCR, this is the same thing. We are making a recording, and I'm gonna show you that too, because people say, what kind of file format is it in? You're allowed to make a recording for your own personal use in the United States. So know your local laws and also review your end user license agreements. Some end user license agreements could say no recording. Eh, and then basically, is it technically possible? Yes. Are you in a breach of your 
end user license agreement? Possibly yes. Can they tell? No. If you're recording at one to one speed, how can they tell if you're watching it or recording it? Record it for your own personal use and you won't have any problems. Make a nice library for yourself and share it with your family and, and, and any TV in your house. And you'll just be thrilled with this. This is great. So uh, that's what this is all about. Oh, and I wanted to show you that I am making a recording because look, whether I record video in from any of these places, including Zoom meetings, by the way, if you're on a Zoom meeting and you want a copy of it, but you don't really know the moderator that well, you used to have to call and ask and say why you wanted it and wait and hope they got it and all. Just get the screen record and record it. Respect other people's privacy and all that other stuff, but if they're recording it, you can record it too. That's the way I look at it. Anyway, here we go. I'm recording it in MKV, but I could also record it in MP4 or MOV or AVI. It's up to you. And look, all of these different codecs, there's multiple different ones for each one. I like the ones that use GPU acceleration and I want high quality. And I like this one. So I pick that one and there we go. Same thing for music. I'm going to go over to music. How do I want it? I said per source, but I really could get down and dirty and say, I want an MP3 and I can even choose the depth of the sampling, the sampling rate uh, and how many bits it is. So, wow, they have some really good thoughts in there. So when people are audiophiles. Guess what? FLAC files. Uh, and it's not just FLAC. We can do all the other ones. Uh, they, AIFF and the wave. For, that's right. Wave is lossless. I forgot about that. Yeah, so you can actually pick what you want. And there you go. Fantastic. It's so easy to record your audio. You just pick Spotify. Now, of course, I have Spotify. I'll tell you, say do the app itself. Record at normal speed. If you record at high speed, they're like, what's happening here? No one listens to our music at 10x speed. So record at normal speed and all will be good. I want to record it as a 192. There we go. That's good. That's a really good recording. Ooh, 320 is even a little bit better. If it's a song I really love, then I might record it a little bit higher. But there we go. It's going to record at that high level. And music content. Yes, it's a music. I also could do podcasts and audiobooks. That's cool to know. I haven't tried the audiobooks yet. But then you just hit record. And it's going to set you up to record from Spotify. The next thing I play on Spotify, it's going to record. Pretty cool stuff. You can rat hole on this program forever. I have lots of videos on how I make it work different ways, but music streaming, it's 100%, 100%. And video streaming, it's great too. Here's one to rat hole on if you haven't tried it yet. Look at this. We have internet radio from around the world. So whether you're, for, look at Germany has a ton, I know, because the company's actually from Germany. Again, money dip back guarantee from this company. They've been fantastic. I've worked with them for years. So yeah, I guarantee it. You won't have any problem. Get a money back guarantee. Let's go and jump that real quick. You don't even need a reason without giving any reason. Just try it out. And if you say, oh my God, this is the coolest program I've ever seen. Well, then you keep it. <laughs> but if you think, uh, Wow, this is not working well on my Chromebook. Yeah, of course it's not going to work good on a Chromebook. It requires a serious processor. Not, not that serious. This was a good PC six years ago. But it requires some processing power. And one guy said, it works good on music, even when I'm playing games. But when it does video, I can't play games. It's like, yeah, don't do that. You're using the video card. And that's what it's using in order to do the screen recording. So let it go. Here. Real quick, I actually point out something that uh, Auto Else needs to fix. It's a minor, but let's go to it. I recorded these and you can see they went back to back. I guess I started right here. Uh, let's see. I guess I recorded the first couple and then I started right here, probably at 1030 and recorded back to back and it finished at 2.05 2 in the morning. But it just recorded all of those in a row. And this is how they named it. This is season one, episode 15, and my Plex couldn't find them and to put them all out of order. I would recommend to them to put it in this, this nomenclature. It is big history, but it's season zero one, episode zero two. That's the nomenclature, this one times 15. I don't know what that supports, but Plex is definitely the one to support. 
they make a really cool library out of this. And yeah, all I had to do was ed change those myself and just cut and paste, cut and paste, change the file types. And it all worked out beautifully. Too cool. Absolutely love this program. It is totally legal if you use it legally. So just make sure that you are using it A in the United States because I know it's legal there. And then don't upload this stuff. Just use it for your own personal use and it works out wonderfully. I would actually buy, I do like this one, the bestseller. This is Audiles 1, so it doesn't have the upscaling features that comes with the Ultra. All that uh, artificial intelligence upscaling, pretty cool. But uh, this one at 59 or 60 bucks allows you to use it perpetually. So a lifetime license for the 2025 version. Um, that, is, that is pretty cool. So this is the one year license. I think that's a good deal too, because the one year license allows me to, well, use it fully. And then next year I'm gonna upgrade to the 2026 version. This is a perpetual license for the 2025 version. Same thing over here, but this is a different piece of software. This is the Ultra with the new AI features. Um, you can try those before you buy them. Uh, here, I'll just show you them real quick. Mm, improved media. Here, I can take video and upscale it. I can insert more frames. I can convert it to uh, HDR. So you can boost speech, you can convert things. Here, over on the music side, this looks really powerful. If you're an audiophile and you have some sounds that you'd like to make a little bit better, absolutely, you can convert them and upscale them. Add more, add more range and depth to it. Uh, you can also convert from one file type to another cool piece of software and you could actually work with this forever. I do have some good videos down below. I'll put them in the description. Go hit those up and I'll show you more about this. The 2025 version is absolutely great. Anyway, guys, hey, thanks so much for watching. Put the links down below. Helps out my channel. It is an affiliate link, but I think you're going to love this. Catch you in the next one, guys.